you would have told me a decade ago that we would release have released the work, like I would have, most of us probably would have like not believed it. It's so viciously different from where we started. As far as being creative is concerned, we're pretty selfishly self-serving. We, like, we write things to make ourselves happy and to get ourselves through things. And I think the work in, in a lot of ways, I know for me, it was just proving that I could still be creative even. You know, we're not necessarily heavy enough at all times to like be considered this thing. And we're not necessarily like, soft or progressive enough to like be considered this thing. Every tour we've ever been on, we've sort of been the odd band out. And I think that the further along we get here, the more clear it is that we just kind of have to embrace that sort of oddness and run with it.
evolution of the, the sound of this band has a lot to do with us taking more control over, uh, over our sound on our own. We, we end up coming into the studio a lot of the time with like basically finished records, you know, and I think that a lot of the, the growth in the sound on each record has a lot to do with what I'm learning production wise and, and just learning how to pull different sort of like influences and sounds into, into our sound and, and, and apply it in kind of a unique and sort of weird way, especially with the production stuff. I think a big part of it is like early on in the band too, of the total group of guys that we had working together just had different goals. The original lineup had a lot more rigid idea of what the band should sound like and like what we should or shouldn't do. It was just more like, if it's not strictly death metal, like it's not gonna really fly. Once those restrictions were gone, it was just kind of like, let's just see how much we can get away with each time. Yeah. We recorded our first album with Eric Rutan all together in the studio. Uh, after that record, our first guitar player left the band. And when he left the band, it kind of put more pressure on me as the only remaining original guitarist. I ended up taking it upon myself to teach myself, you know, production, music production on our second, third, and fourth records. You know, I've done, you know, all of the guitars on it, like, like just a ton of the, the production work on it. The work lyrically was a big, big sort of inquest for me. Just kind of picking myself apart you know, in, in a lot of ways. The, the bleakest stuff I could come up with and, and just like reflecting all of like the nastiest feelings I had at the time, which, you know, were, were plenty. I was going through a lot of weird shit. The COVID thing had happened and I was in a new city and, and just, it was just a very strange time. I honestly didn't even really write anything down before I got into the studio. Sort of just as the songs were coming together, I just sort of wrote the lyrics because I wanted it to be like as lived as possible. Because when the world shuts down like that and you don't, you don't really know what's gonna, what's gonna happen next and there's just this feeling of hopelessness, like what am I even doing this for? Like do I have any like real, do I have anything to offer? Should, am, am I, it makes you ask those kind of questions. Like am I, are we kidding ourselves? Like what are we doing? <laughs>
After I had finished writing the music for the work uh, and the album was completed and everything like that, I kind of just hit a wall creatively because normally at that point we would have just gone out in the world and started playing it and experiencing the music live and you know all of that, but that didn't happen right away. My process with writer's block is to, to freak out at first, think I lost it, and then realize that I just kind of have to put some distance between me and whatever the last project was. Oftentimes, I do tend to become sort of like a ball of anxiety when I'm not coming up with stuff, like especially after I go through like an intense period of creativity, like writing a whole record. When I don't get it back immediately, you know, I, I kind of get real stressed out for a while, get frustrated, getting to go out and, and play the music and especially a full record, you know, from front to back, like it, it is a, par a big part of me being able to sort of close that chapter. Like I love coming out and touring, it's great and everything, but like when I'm like writing, I will, I forget what they call it, but like it's when time sort of just like stops and you just, it, it was 11 a.m. and all of a sudden it's like 8 p.m. and you have this whole big thing in front of you. Like once I start working on a song, usually it just takes one section that I'm like really, you know, stoked on and that will just snowball into the next part and I'll start connecting things together and like it just kind of, it just goes. Like when it happens, it just like all happens at once and I don't, you know, I won't eat. I'll just like look at the clock and realize like a whole day has passed. Like that kind of like, uh, like missing time sort of thing. And that's my favorite. That says like, okay, like this is what you should be doing. Most typical outsiders would be alarmed at how not stoked Brody is all the time. <laughs> But I, I've known him long enough to know when he's excited about a particular thing. Yeah. When it comes to like writing stuff, like he'll, when he's ready, he'll show me, and then I'll, I'll always be, you know, I can I can usually tell where where he's at, you know, with a thing. But I, I always try to just put my like just critic brain on and think real hard about what we're what we're hearing. And I'm like, is this Rivers of Nile material? Is this what is what is this doing for us at sonically? He's like the main guy in the band that like, when I send him stuff, I want him to insult it. I know that he's got like a pretty high standard for things and he's, and I've been playing music since, you know, I was 16 and he was 19. When I hit him with stuff, I, I want him to tear it down. And like, if he doesn't have anything to say, I know that I'm onto something good. A yes man in, in a creative situation for me is like, is like a completely useless thing. If I hear something and I'm like, this sounds too much like any other metal band could do it. I'm usually like, no. Like it, it's gotta, it's gotta be off-putting and strange in some way. Writing the lyrics is, is I don't know. I, I used to cr criticize myself a lot, like for not like being a more prolific writer, like sitting down and writing and writing and writing. I feel like I've kind of developed my brain to a point where it's like I have like this little inner file system where I have all of these scraps stored, <laughs> and and that's that's where the writing gets done. And then like, and then when it needs to be produced, then I can. Then I put it on a piece of paper and I look at the words. And like when it, when when that happens, and it, and I'm like, this looks good. It, like I read it well, as well as it worked up here, because that's a very pivotal moment. I don't take that very lightly. So then when when it does work, I'm like, I'm like, yes, this is, yes, we've done it. <laughs>
I always kind of imagined this record to be more of a living thing, sort of self a self-referential in, in the way that it like it, it recognizes our emotions just as people and then it, it has a lot to do with what we do as work. So bringing like this whole album out like we're doing it right now and like working through it is kind of just part of the, the story. I feel like we just try to make ourselves happy with the things that we make, and we try to keep it in mind that if, if we're happy, our audience is, is into it too. It feels like we're all, you know, us and our the fans that we have that are really invested in what we do, it feels like we're all on this, like, this ride together, you know? Like, a lot of the songs are spoken to the listener. The, the work is kind of, there's at least a big section of it is all about them and feeling like we don't have that freedom of just making ourselves happy anymore and we have to we have to feed the beast and we're at you know we're gonna always be constantly criticized about about this stuff we're held up on some pedestal you know just want to we want to feed, feed the beast on our own terms yeah but that and that but that's the thing it's just it's a lot of it is just a lot of it is, is just a lot of the work kind of boils down to just like, fuck you, I, we, we, we're gonna do what we wanna do, and we don't care how much saxophone or whatever it is you wanna hear. Like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Like that.